Yes, folks, there's a mountain of corruption evidence against the Bidens. So the obvious question is this, how is Joe getting away with this? And the answer is even more obvious. The deep state FBI, who have had Hunter's laptop since last December, are covering up for him. And of course, the mainstream media and social media are covering up for him as well. Now, so far, we have evidence from Hunter's laptop and from his former partner, Tony Bobolinsky. And now sordid sexual stuff is beginning to emerge from Hunter's laptop as well. But for context purposes, I'll start this off today with Bobolinsky's full expose first. Good evening. My name is Tony Bobolinsky. I served as a lieutenant in the United States Navy with high security clearance. My father and grandfather both served for decades in our country's armed forces. Since leaving the Navy, I've been involved in various successful businesses, both in this country and abroad. I'm making this statement to set the record straight about the involvement of the Biden family, Vice President Biden, his brother Jim Biden, and his son Hunter Biden, in dealings with the Chinese. I have heard Joe Biden say that he's never discussed business with Hunter. That is false. I have firsthand knowledge about this because I directly dealt with the Biden family, including Joe Biden. I have also heard that Vice President Biden said on Tuesday that Senator Ron Johnson, the chair of the Senate Homeland Security Committee, should be ashamed for suggesting that Biden family sought to profit from their name. Well, here are the facts I know. And everything I'm saying is corroborated by emails, WhatsApp chats, agreements, documents, and other evidence. And the American people can judge for themselves. I brought, I guess, for record, three phones that spanned the years 2015 through 2018. These phones have never been held by anybody else besides myself. I was told this past Sunday by somebody who was also involved in this matter that if I went public this information, it'd be, it would bury all of us, man, the Bidens included. I have no wish to bury anyone. I've never been political. The few contributions I have made have been to Democrats. But what I am is a patriot and a veteran. To protect my family name and my business reputation, I need to ensure that the true facts are out there. In late 2015, I was approached by James Gillier, whom I had known for many years, about joining him in a deal which he said would involve the Chinese state-owned enterprise, CEFC China Energy, and what he called one of the most prominent families in the United States. I was informed first by Gillier, and then by Hunter Biden, and by Rob Walker, who was working with the Bidens that the Bidens wanted to form a new entity with CFC, which was to invest in infrastructure, real estate, and technology in the U.S. and around the world. And the entity would initially be capitalized with $10 million and then grow to billions of dollars of investment capital. After months of discussion, I agreed at Gillier and Hunter Biden's request to become CEO of the entity to be called Sinohawk. Sino representing the Chinese side, Hawk representing Hunter Biden's brother Bo's favorite animal. And between February and May 2017, we exchanged numerous emails, documents, and WhatsApp messages concerning Sino Hawk and its potential business. On May 2nd, 2017, the night before Joe Biden was to appear at the Milken Conference, I was introduced to Joe Biden by Jim Biden and Hunter Biden. At approximately and at my approximately hour-long meeting with Joe that night, we discussed the Biden's history, the Biden's family business plans with the Chinese, with which he was plainly familiar, at least at a high level. After that meeting, I had numerous communications with Hunter, Walker, Gillier, and Jim Biden regarding the allocation of the equity ownership of Sinohawk. On May 13, 2017, I received an email concerning allocation of equity, which says 10% to 
held by H for the big guy. In that email, there's no question that H stands for Hunter, big guy for his father, Joe Biden, and Jim for Jim Biden. In fact, Hunter often referred to his father as the big guy or my chairman. On numerous occasions, it was made clear to me that Joe Biden's involvement was not to be mentioned in writing, but only face to face. In fact, I was advised by Gillier and Walker that Hunter and Jim Biden were paranoid about keeping Joe Biden's involvement secret. I also had a disagreement with Hunter about the funds CFC was contributing to Sinohawk. Hunter wanted five million of those funds to go to himself and his family. So he wanted the funds wired directly to an entity affiliated with him. I objected because that was contrary to our written agreements concerning Sinohawk. He said, referring to the chairman, his father, that CFC was really investing in the Biden family, that he held the Trump card, and that he was the one putting his family legacy on the line. He also said to me on May 17, 2017, that CFC wanted to be my partner, to be partner with the Bidens. During these negotiations, I repeated to Hunter and others that Sinohawk could not be Hunter's personal piggy bank. And I demanded that proper corporate governance procedures be implemented for capital distributions. Hunter became very upset with me. CFC through, two, through July 2017 was assuring me the funds would be transferred to Sinohawk, but they were never sent to our company. Instead, I found out from Senator Johnson's September report that the $5 million was sent in August 2017 to entities affiliated with Hunter. Tomorrow, I will be meeting with the Senate committee members concerning this matter, and I will be providing to the FBI the devices which contain the evidence corroborating what I have said. So I will not be taking any questions at this time. Yeah, and, and yes, he did uh, meet with the FBI. So they really can't cover up for uh, cover up anymore, cover up for Biden anymore. So that was a good, actually a good move. Anyway, now for some uh, more detail. Hunter Biden's former business partner on a Chinese energy deal, Tony Bobolinsky, breaks his silence, unloading text messages, emails, and documents he claims are about Hunter Biden's overseas business dealings and interaction with Joe Biden. In a May 19th, 2017 text message obtained by Fox News, Hunter Biden apparently tells his business associates, quote, my chairman gave an emphatic no. That same day, business associate Rob Walker appears to respond to Tony Bobolinsky, quote, when he said his chairman, he was talking about his dad. Bobolinsky served in the Navy in the 1990s and was brought on to lead a group, including Hunter Biden and Joe Biden's brother Jim, in a business deal with a Chinese energy firm. He was also the primary recipient of this May 2017 email, which Fox obtained last week, noting 10 percent of equity for the big guy. A newly revealed text message shows Bobolinsky was apparently warned by business partner James Gillier, don't mention Joe being involved. It's only when you are face to face. I know you know that, but they are paranoid. You Fox's Hillary Vaughn questioned Joe Biden in October 2019. Manager. Do you stand by your statement that you did not discuss any of your son's overseas business yes, dealings? Yes, I with stand him? by that statement. In a statement, Bobolinsky told Fox News, quote, I've seen Vice President Biden saying he never talked to Hunter about his business. I've seen firsthand that that's not true because it wasn't just Hunter's business. They said they were putting the Biden family name and its legacy on the line. A May 17, 2017 text message, Hunter purportedly writes to his colleagues, the Chinese are coming to be my partner, to be partners with the Bidens. Bobolinsky adds, quote, I realized the Chinese were not really focused on a healthy financial ROI, return on investment. They were looking at this as a political or influence investment. Yeah, and that's what Trump has been warning about all along. The Bidens are owned by the Chinese. Bobolinsky says there was a power struggle, and in June of 2017, Hunter rants about not wanting to sign over, quote, my family's brand, my family's only asset to Tony Bobolinsky. Bobolinsky explains, once I realized that Hunter wanted to use the company as his personal piggy bank by just taking money out of it as soon as it came from the Chinese, I took steps to prevent that from happening. 
Bob Alinsky right. says he will share his information with the Senate Finance and Homeland Security Committees. Separately, Fox News has learned the subpoena of a laptop and hard drive purportedly belonging to Hunter Biden came in connection with a money laundering investigation, according to documents obtained by Fox and verified by multiple federal law enforcement officials who reviewed them. It is not clear the status of that investigation or if it is directly related to Hunter Biden. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi did not engage when asked about the former vice president today. I'm sorry, I'm not answering your questions, okay? We're talking about the coronavirus. Yeah, look away, look away, look over there, look over there. Some Republicans argue it's time for Joe Biden to talk. The American people deserve some answers here, and he needs to be asked about it at tonight's debate. There is a reference in a May 2017 text message about the need to stress to Hunter, does he want to be the reason or factor that blows up his dad's campaign, written before a campaign was launched. Experts say potential legal issues could be money laundering, tax evasion, and failure to register as foreign agents, in this case, China. Yeah, anyway, now to the sordid sexual stuff and, and hat tip to uh, Scott Phillips for this one. So we've covered a lot of the allegations about what's going on on Hunter's hard drive tonight. However, before we get back to that, there's an even more disturbing allegation about an underage girl. What can you tell us about that? Uh, this is not just any underage girl. This is a family member. And uh, there were several uh, figures that we have seen on this hard drive who have questionable ages, but none of them could be verified as far as who they are, except this one. And that's Natalie Biden. She is the niece of Hunter Biden. The niece of Hunter Biden. And the pictures depict her in ways that are very questionable, questionable enough that we here at OEN submitted a request to the Newcastle County Police Department in Delaware, and uh, we asked if they had received any uh, notes of concern about the images that were found on these hard drives, on this laptop, concerning Natalie Biden, who was 14 years old at the time. Um, I cannot go into too, de too much detail as to what the pictures actually depict, but they're enough that uh, we know for sure she was 14 years old at the time because there's date stamps on these pictures. And this is around the time that Hunter Biden was spending, spending time around not only Natalie, but her mom, who he was carrying on a romantic uh, affair with at the time. This is the wife of the dead brother, Bo. Wow, what sort of sicko is this guy? Um, very uncomfortable pictures, Kara. So we had, you know, images of Natalie being horizontal. I'm trying to be as delicate as I can, but being horizontal with with by, with Hunter. Um, you have pictures of uh, Hunter without his shirt on uh, in some of the scenes. We have records of FaceTime uh, calls from Hunter to Natalie and Natalie to Hunter. So there's some uh, very questionable things in there, enough that we sent in a request to the authorities to see if anybody raised alarms about seeing about these uh, pictures once they had them in their uh, in their hands. So you have also another record that's very interesting, Kara, and that was uh, a text message between Hunter Biden and his father, Joe. In this text exchange, you see that Hunter is complaining to his father that the therapist or psychologist is concerned about Hunter's presence in Natalie's life. And once again, I'll keep it as PG as I can, but there was some, there was a concern about Hunter's sexualized presence in front of Natalie, who's 14 years old. And the question there was posed to Joe Biden saying, this is, uh, I'm complaining about this, this is horrible. Why are they saying, why are we having to deal with this? And, and uh, I'm paraphrasing, but Joe breezes past this concern and does not seem very concerned about Natalie Biden at all. Natalie is his granddaughter, 14 years old, who is in the presence of his son, who has addiction problems, who has uh, clearly been using drugs in a way that would endanger a child. And so lots of questions raised. Yes, there's an underage child involved, at least one that we can confirm, and that is Natalie Biden, the niece of Hunter and the granddaughter of Joe.
And it seems to be uh, a pattern going on here with Hunter Biden because the Senate released a report, a uh, Senate panel released a report last month detailing some allegations that Hunter Biden was involved in uh, prostitution, but even worse, perhaps human trafficking rings in Eastern Europe. It seems to be a pattern with Hunter. Yeah, Kara. So as you know, OAN has been speaking with the former Biden staffer, Tara Reid. She's accused Joe Biden of sexual assault back in 1993. And the when you hear her accounting of the culture of Joe Biden's office or the culture of, that Joe Biden helped. Yeah. Now watch Joe Biden from here on and you'll begin to see where uh, Hunter learned his skills or trade, if you like cultivate in his working environment, especially when it came to women. Um, you have a lot of questions about, about the Biden family and how they deal with women, right? So going back to your, yeah. your question about the prostitution ring and the human trafficking element, you cannot, we cannot confirm for sure what uh, look them, look the them, scenes that we saw uh, entail, whether or not they were prostitutes or not, or they were uh, you mean trafficked, we cannot be for certain, but they're certainly lewd, they're naked, uh, there are several figures involved in each of these scenes. So there's a lot to indicate that those reports were initially true. The guy is absolutely sick. But at this point, it's, it's going to require a little more uh, authority stepping in and telling us exactly uh, looking at the metadata and telling us exactly where these pictures were taken. But there's certainly a lot of imagery and videos to confirm that there were certainly a, a lot of sex and drugs involved. And they, they, they look European, but we, we cannot be certain at this moment. Here yeah, now, folks, if you watch the mainstream media in New Zealand at the moment, You'll notice I've got the memo from the Biden camp not to report on this story, but to focus on coronavirus. Yes, look over there. Look away. Look over there. <laughs> 